What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm super excited because I'm finally bringing you guys hero content. My own hero content. Yes, I know. Someone who loves GX as much as I do and I don't even do hero content that much. This hero profile and this hero build that I'm about to show you guys is very, very anti-meta in a sense where it doesn't combo your like your typical heroes. This is actually a little bit different. You're playing a much more controlled build of heroes focusing on Dark Law and DPE and it's really hard for your opponent to out it. So it's a very anti-meta deck. But if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content now i will say this one thing real quick before we get into the video is that in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys some dual replays how this deck is supposed to play out some of the theory behind this deck but if you guys want a deck profile let me know in the comment section down below and i'll be glad to do that for you once i work out all the kinks and the deck is ready to go but thank you guys all for watching i hope you guys enjoy and with that Let's get into some duels. Okay, so to start off with the first duel replay here, I just want to explain to you guys why this deck I think is so, so powerful. And that's because all this deck is is one to two card combos. So here we have a Shadow Mist and your Solid Soldier, which is your like bread and butter combo. This is one of the easiest combos to do. So the other three cards in your hand can literally be anything. In this case, we have an Ash, a Nib, and a Cross Out. So that means our combos are going to be guaranteed essentially to go through because of the Cross Out. But we also have Ash and Nib, which is more negations, more disruptions on our opponent's turn. And this combo alone is just going to provide you with such a very simplistic but also very powerful board just because something like dark law which you guys are going to see we're going to make is so powerful against today's meta now you guys can see here obviously we're not playing against anything meta here i just want to show you guys what the combo can kind of do what the deck can kind of do and in theory why it's so good against the meta decks right so here we're just going to let it play out we're going to go solid soldier summon our shadow mist here and then once we shut it summon the shadow mist we're actually going to search our mass change right so here is where it kind of gets spicy so we're going to go into a sold here and the reason for that that is because you guys are going to see a really cool niche combo that you guys can do but his sold is very powerful here and his sold can essentially search any other hero monster for our next turn so here we actually choose to search follow-up we search a stratos for our next turn and why that's really important here is because with stratos we can now on our follow-up turn just summon the stratos continue doing our combos right another thing you could search here is an honest neos because honest neos also protects your dark law and your dpe potentially from battle but here we wanted to search a stratos because i saw that we had no other extenders on our next turn and i didn't want to just hope to draw into one so for that reason we searched the stratos here so we're going to play it out we're going to go with sold and the sold is going to send a living fossil and summon the raynaud now this is very powerful now raynaud has a really cool effect when it's special summoned you can add an equip card back from your grave so here is how we're going to get our shadow mist back on the board for mass change to be live so here what we're going to do is you're going to activate your raynaud add back the living fossil and then you're going to use these two to go into your verte anaconda now we're just going to living fossil summon back the shadow mist and then we're going to set our cards and pass once we summon the dpe so now we have this board very simplistic board we're going to set the mass change here as you guys are going to see and we're going to set the cross out as well cross out was just kind of more of a bonus just in case we needed it right potentially if we were going to be facing off against an imperm or something like that right so this is a very powerful board now here you guys can see in our graveyard we actually set up because in this case we sent the malicious which can also be a setup for next turn like i said we have our stratos which is also set up for next turn so now while this deck is really cool is because we have follow up for next turn we have hand traps we have our board which is pretty much going to consist of a floodgate dark law as well as a dpe which we all know how powerful dpe is right so we're just gonna let this play out now of course like i said here we're not playing against anything meta but it is really important to note that i actually held the mass change until he activated something like a lure of darkness why did i do that is because essentially you guys are going to see here now once we summon the dark law he's going to draw we're actually going to get dark law's effect to essentially get a card out of our opponent's hand here we end up sniping the monster reborn okay so why this is really powerful and why this is really good is because if you think about this in a meta sense of course this is not meta itself but if you think about it in a meta sense if you're thinking about something like prank kid brave for example right essentially what that deck wants to do is you're going to go water enchantress to search your right so as soon as they go water enchantress you can summon the dark law and now you can snipe a card out of their hand there's a chance you snipe that right. There's a chance you snipe the one prank kid monster in their hand, right? And if that happens, then their turn is kind of done. On top of that, prank kid monsters can't really do anything under Dark Law. And even if they get rid of your Dark Law, as soon as they summon a prank kid's monster, you can DPE pop it and they still can't get their combos to go off. So you guys can see here, it's very simplistic combos, but it's very, very powerful and it breaks a lot of the meta boards. If you think about any brave meta deck, essentially in the today's format, this board really just breaks it and just makes it really difficult for them to play, right? So here we're gonna, you're gonna see that I have the 
asked for the trade in and then like he's just gonna scoop it up and that makes sense because at this point now i don't know what he could do at this point again we're playing against some like random rogue deck so don't expect anything out of this but essentially after all of this what ends up happening he has nothing in his graveyard because everything's getting banished when it comes back to our turn we have our straddles we have our malicious we could potentially use our verite plus our straddles and malicious to go into something like an access code we have access code dpe dark law we're going for game at that point so this deck is very simplistic but it's also very powerful for our next replay here, you can essentially see that we opened a very similar hand. Here we didn't open into our Solid Soldier, but we still do have the cross out. Again, this is why you're maxing out on something like cross out because the card is just so, so very powerful. You need to be playing this. But yeah, so here you guys can see we have a very similar hand, which is going to achieve us a very similar, if not the same exact board. We're going against Despia over here, and you guys are going to see this actually has a really good matchup against Despia. Funny enough, he had the Super Poly, which I'll get into a little bit later, but our opponent is not playing any targets that can actually break our board. And I don't know if Despia deck tend to play any targets that break dpe dark law boards so i don't know if that's just a misplay or a miscalculation on his part in terms of deck building but essentially here you guys are going to see why the deck can be so powerful we're just going to go rota into our solid soldier and now we have our bread and butter combo right but in this case we actually already have our stratos so once this combo goes through i believe here we actually end up searching an honest neos yeah we do and this is why honest neos is so strong is because now you have our follow-up of course with stratos but we also have our honest neos which is going to protect us from battle which is really really powerful here right so now we're just going to do the same combo here. What we could do here actually instead is funny enough, summon like a fire flint lady and then try to summon our stratos, but then we don't really have a target for shadow mist. And that's why we're not doing that. But yeah, so this is just essentially the same exact combo. You're going to end on a DPE here. And then as, a, as well as our dark law, we're going to have a cross out and our mask change set. We're going to pass it off here. So funny enough here, he goes dark ruler no more, which is fine because we still haven't even summoned our dark law yet. So our DPE is negated. Sure. But we are still going to have our dark law live. So here's going to go dragon magic, dragon magic. I know so searches them a card so at this point i'm like all right let's go mass change into our dark law here and then now we're going to snipe a card out of our hand so here he's going to search a brand infusion we end up sniping the brand infusion he had two of them anyways and at this point when i was looking back at the duel originally i was like why did he not just super poly these two together because most decks will be able to super poly them right but then when i looked into his extra deck again i saw that he had no targets for it which was kind of funny but even if he did let's just say our opponent did super poly and break this board right somehow the thing is already he's down to two cards in hand we still have a nibiru in our hand and we still have straddles for our next turn follow-up this is why this board and this deck is so strong and so powerful because even if this board does end up getting broken first of all they're gonna have to use a lot of resources to end up breaking this board to begin with but even if they do break this board you have follow-up you have hand traps you can continue going it's not like you auto lose just if you lose your dark law or your dpe here right so here you're gonna see he makes his titanic clad here and really nothing happens he just attacks we activate our dpe so it can come back and that's really it. We get our DPE back here. We actually, funny enough, draw into a Shadow Mist. So we use the Dasher effect here to special summon our Shadow Mist, which doesn't even take our normal summon. So this is why, even if you top deck something like this, this deck is even more powerful. It's literally just so much power and so much consistency with this deck right but we didn't even need to do this honestly we had game regardless because here on a standard by phase we're gonna get dpe back here we get to summon our stratos like at that point he just scooped it up but you can do a million different things here you have another mass change if you wanted to go into something like anki stratos can search you maybe potentially something else for a nut follow-up if you don't end up otking you have your honest neos which is also going to make all your monsters powerful enough to break through other boards like you guys can see no matter how simplistic the boards may seem you're setting up a really strong and very simple board but you have hand traps to back it up you have cards to protect your combo from going through such as cross out such as call by the grave you have graveyard set up which can even essentially get you even more the thing is even if we lost our hand here we also have potentially celestial in the graveyard to draw two more cards again you guys saw we have the dasher for the shadow mist so much consistency so much power with this deck so for our last replay here, I wanted to show you a hand that is kind of like a god tier hand to be honest with you, but it is kind of glass cannon in the sense of you don't have any protection from hand traps. Luckily here, our opponent didn't actually draw into any hand traps, so it doesn't matter. This is an Astral Karibo, I believe. I'm, I'm not sure why it's not showing up here. But so we see here we're going up against some OTK raw deck, which is perfectly fine for us because again, our DPE pretty much answers all of that and our Dark Claw is going to answer all of it. So here you guys are going to see how good and how much you can push this deck when you have a hand like this. Like this is such a good hand here, right? So we're going to start off by actually Activating our hero lives, okay? And we're actually going to summon our Stratos. Stratos now, because we still haven't used our normal summon, is going to search us our Shadow Mist. So here we're just going to normal summon our Shadow Mist. We already have the mass change, right? So now we get the Shadow Mist effect in the graveyard, funny enough, to actually search us another hero. In this case, we search another Stratos for our next turn. And we still have the Assault play here, right? So here we're going to summon the Raynaud, or we're going to send the Living Fossil, summon the Raynaud. And then essentially the Raynaud is going to get back the Living Fossil to our hand. Now, because we opened our Fire Flint Lady, this combo becomes even stronger. So here, now because 
because we did the fire flint lady we actually have four cards here before we even have to use fusion destiny before we have to use mass change before we have to use living fossil right so here we can literally just make an apollo then we go into living fossil and then the standard you know dpe stuff here fusion destiny and here again like you guys can see once i pause it real quick you guys can see we set up celestial dasher here so even if we end up using our honest neos on our opponent's turn and then potentially our stratos on our next turn maybe if we draw into another spell we can set it we have celestial to draw two but here you guys can see very basic combo like usual but we're also ending on an apollo and that's why this is so strong because now you have three monster negates on top of your dark law on top of your dpe right so this is such a powerful hand here again kind of glass cannon because if they did have a hand trap it'd be kind of difficult so here you guys can see he goes for Ancient Chant, which I know gets him a raw to his hand. And so we're just going to be like, all right, Dark Law time, because now we get to snipe a card out of your hand. Funny enough here, we actually do end up sniping the raw, which is just completely random. But uh, it seemed like he might have actually needed that raw in his hand. Not too sure. But essentially, yeah, sniping that raw was pretty big. So here in the end phase, the Destroy Phoenix Force that went to the graveyard, if you guys didn't know, when you use Fusion Destiny on the end phase of your opponent's turn, it gets destroyed, but it doesn't really matter because DP is just going to come right back after it gets destroyed. So here you guys can see I have the Stratos. I have Stratos to continue going. He has Ash here. I don't really care. This is more than enough damage on board. And so we're just going to go for game here. So you guys can see how powerful this deck can be, how strong this deck can be, and just how much setup you have with this deck, right? And that's why I think this deck is very, very powerful. It's not your standard hero stuff where you're just going to full combo and lose to Nibiru, essentially, which is what heroes are essentially known for. You don't want to go Stratos, Vision Hero, Vision Hero, blah, 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 lose to a single hand trap, lose to a single Nibiru, and you just can't do anything afterwards. Here you're playing a very control build of hero but this control build i think is actually the more powerful build in today's format especially if you think about any meta deck any any even if these rogue decks right like how many people can play through a dark law and if they can't attack over it because something like an honest neos like how much more can they do so that's why i think this deck is really really powerful especially when you have hands like this that end on apollo as well because now you essentially have your apollo to stop anything that you need to stop before you have to like force out your dpe or for, here we had an imperm for example so we could even hold the imperm for longer we can stop but we can hold a hand trap for later essentially because we have our Apollo. You guys can see how this deck is very, very powerful. It's very, very strong, very, very consistent, I might add. And I'm loving this new build of heroes, this new way of playing this deck. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Now, like I said in the video, you guys saw that we didn't play against anything specifically meta. To be honest, I was on EDO Pro for like four hours trying to get a meta matchup. I couldn't find anyone on EDO Pro playing meta. But the point is, I wanted to show you guys really how the deck works and how it works in theory. And I think you guys got an idea of that in the duels and in the replays and how the deck plays out. And you guys got to see how consistent it is. Every single hand, even if you see different like versions of the hand, every hand can essentially make the same board. And some hands can even make better boards, right? So I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys did for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. Again, I'm going to be bringing you guys some more GX stuff. I, there's been a a lot of support a lot of stuff released for the gx era recently and i really wanted to show it off to you guys again gx is my favorite so you know might as well share that with you so i hope you guys did enjoy and with that spanko signing out peace